Hi everybody, welcome back to our uh, project, which is an Edith Holden mini album stroke journal. At the moment we're at the construction stage pretty much. Um, we have, however, already made page one, which is this uh, double flip here. And it's got stamps on, which I absolutely love. I love those stamps. And this beautiful image here, and that just flips up, flips down. And I did actually put some lace and some pearls on there, but I'm gonna hold back on doing any further embellishments uh, until we finish the whole thing, and then I can really go to town doing stuff. So that's page one, although it doesn't have to be. When we come to put them in the book, they can be in any order. Um, but for us, as it stands at the moment, page one, this is page two, which is a double pocket. That's one pocket there, and that's another pocket there. And I did this in cream card, and I really quite like that. I like the idea of either adding lace or flat back pearls or um, fussy cuts. You know, I've got this little B here. How sweet would he look as a fussy cut? So there's all sorts of things. You know, even some die cuts of butterflies, whatever. I've got loads of ideas, but I really do like leaving that almost as a band, really. So that's pages one and two. This is page three which was a bit of a whoa there was a lot so this flips out and this flips out and see the lovely stamping and this flips up and this flips down and then in the middle we've got this gorgeous iris i really love that my mum's name was iris and i think that's why i'm so particularly drawn to them um, but I think, you know, after you've flipped and flapped your way through to the centre, you deserve to find something really beautiful. And this is really beautiful. So they go in. We had a bit of a, a bit of a job with the magnet situation and had to double magnet some areas. And then that goes there. Now, if you want to know how we've got to this part, there are videos uh, on YouTube of everything that I've done. And if you want a cutting list then it's under the files section in my Facebook group which is Miss Paint-a-Lot's Jump Journal group so if you go there answer the questions I'm afraid if you don't answer the questions I won't um, I will decline your request uh, so pop along there Miss Paint-a-Lot's Junk Journal group and under the files section under the photograph at the top you will see all the cutting list for this so that brings us on to page four but I just wanted to show you you might remember last time uh, I was telling you that Mr F was off Texan to do some grocery shopping and such like and he might look around the charity shops and he did and look what he found the nature notes oh I'm so delighted to have it I really am because actually it says there's a Canada price here for some reason but there's pictures in the nature notes that you don't get in the ordinary Edith Holden. So I'm delighted to have this book. Absolutely delighted. There's just, I mean, oh, just beautiful. It's just a change, I think. A little great tip there. I love that. And this is my favourite page ever, 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 ever. The blue tits in the coconut shell getting their dinner in the middle of winter. And these cold tits here. On another, I love that page, I just so adore it. Um, but there's lots of images in here that aren't in the, um, that one for example, aren't in the Country Diary. So it gives us, I mean that's just so nice, green finches. Um, a Rusty, Jen, Mike, Rusty. Um, so yeah, there's, there's quite a few that aren't that for example how beautiful is that you don't need to answer it just is <laughs> extremely beautiful i mean they all are they just look at that one there for august oh so yeah you know i could take i could take forever showing you through this look at these dog roses here on a single page so you can use them so yeah there's loads 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 to go at in there what a lovely thing for him to come back from shopping with. I'm delighted. Right, on to page four. Easy peasy page. 
So you'll have your pieces cut out, piece I should say, cut out if you've had a look at the, uh, the cutting measurements. So I'm just going to fold across the score lines and just burnish those down with my lovely Teflon bone folder. There we go. And I'm just, well, I'll put the double sided on first and then I'm going to just angle each side, the top and bottom. How can we always pick double sided up and the thinking thing is on the wrong side? Every time. It's getting old. So put your double sided on both sides. And then just cut into your score line, just like that. Because otherwise you can see them when you look down from the top and they don't look pretty. When you can particularly craft, I think. So it just looks like a piece of card. So there we go. Right, now then, what are we gonna put on this? Well. I actually quite like the idea of putting the cream paper on it and then when we come to embellish it we can go to town. Um, I haven't got, I don't think, a piece of cream card big enough in my remnants, no. So I'll use a new piece. There are lots of things that I could do with this. Um, you know, obviously Edith images, etc, etc. But I do quite like the idea of using just the cream card. So let's cut that where we want it. Hold it there so your margins are correct on the two edges you can see. Then take your pencil and just mark where, where you're going to want to cut it. So that's there. So let's do that first. That feels thicker than, than normal. Um, well that, I think this fits on here, pretty sure it does. So just bring that, and where's our other mark? It's on here. So this is going to be the top of our um, belly band, tummy tuck. that in the remnants well that's well in the remnants I was going to put it back in the full sheet but it's not a full sheet really so that would be quite wrong let's just erase these pencil marks and we'll just check it one more time for size just make sure it's perfect Yeah, that's lovely, lovely, lovely. So we'll ink around that and stick that on, and that's done then. And it's just the paper for the the back. But I do like the idea of being able to embellish these. You know, even if we just put a collage on it or what, whatever. You know, I think fussy cuts would look lovely. And there's enough really nice things in, in the book to fussy cut out. But I do also have an Edith CD. CD-ROM, actually, as they were, with data on it. And uh, there's, there's a whole page on there of fussy cuts. So I'm, I'm not going to be stuck for fussy cuts. But you could stamp on it. You could put dyes on it, it just depends what you've got. Oh, I've got something else I want to show you as well. I forgot to show you the other day. There we go. Let's 
just get this stuck on where it needs to go. Just down a little bit, I feel. Yeah, that's great. And just poke your finger out of the towel and press, go around pressing but forcing inwards like that. And this towel is so blooming absorbent. It's also quite rough actually, but that's that's fine. So that's that nicely stuck down perfectly. I don't know what that was falling to the ground. A bit of paper, I think. Yes, I wanted to show you these. Have a look at these. The Edwardian Lady playing cards. And there are two packs. How cute are those? They're just gorgeous, aren't they? They would be fantastic, just popped in a pocket somewhere. There's two, two decks. Um, so obviously they're all these ones are all the same. I did say to Mr. F, oh, they're all di they're all the same. I wanted them to be different. And he said, don't be daft. If you were playing poker or something, people would know which cards you've got. <laughs> which, yeah, that's true. Um, and this is the other one, that one there. Oh, they're beautiful. They really are so gorgeous. And they're playing cards. So, yeah, Mr. F's been on a good spell lately. What with the wrapping paper and the cards and that book he's just brought me today. Yeah, good, good spell. So this we're going to stick down here fairly centrally. I think that looks pretty central actually. So I'm just going to make a pencil mark there where I want that to go to. Take the backing tape off. Um, I'm going to do both sides together. What the heck, eh? Let's live dangerously. Let's just live dangerously. Then we have the joy of finding a page of Edith to put behind this. Ooh, it's so exciting. I love looking through my Edith books. I think I think I'm not alone in that. I think it's a disease, Edith, Edith, Edithphilia or something. I don't know, something like that, probably. I'm Edithphilic, <laughs> as opposed to Edithphobic. Right, let's get this on, stop waffling around. So that's where my mark is. And that's it down both sides. Lovely jubbly. Let's make sure it's perfect. Yep, lovely. Get my bone folder. Just press it down. Press, press, press. It's weird our hobby, isn't it? It's really weird. You know, you do a lot of lot of cutting. You do a lot of buying first. That's what you need. You need to do loads of buying. <laughs> then you um, cut everything up that you've bought as whole sheets. And then you um, stick it down. That's it. It's a weird old hobby, isn't it? So let's have a look and see what we can find. I need something that's got a top and a bottom to it, not the dog roses. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if that would be a waste. Where's the, where's the middle of this? I need to cut these out and see, see what's going on. I do love those um, foxgloves. I love them. But I don't want to waste them. So this is how you get your pages out. You find a centre, you snip through the stitches, then you pull one page and it will come out. This page looks like I've already cut it. And that's the foxgloves. Let's have a look and see. 
what they would look like. So, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> There's loads of pages of Edith just falling on the floor. Oh dear. No, I, I'm not prepared to use the fox gloves because I think there's too much of them not going to be seen. This one we've already used from another book. Mm. That's nice. I've used that image before quite a lot. Poppies, love the poppies. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to use. I don't know. That's got quite a lot top and bottom, hasn't it? Let's snip this one out and see what it looks like. If you've got one of those quick unpick things, it's brilliant for doing this. I have got one, but it's in a sewing machine that's now been put away, so I'll never see that again. Right, let's have a look at this and see. Not, not one, this one. So I would see a little bit at the top, and I would see not masses at the bottom. No, I don't think that's going to work. Not for us on this project, this page. That's really nice. That is really nice, actually. Let's take that out. And if I was to cut that down and just use that bit at the top, cut that off and use that bit. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We've got it. We've got our page. So let's see where I want to cut this, which is about exactly on halfway actually, about there. So I'll cut that there, and then we'll select, select the stuff that we need. I have a feeling this is too wide, but we'll see once I've got it cut. Lovely gold finish there. So I need this to slide into that belly band. Oh no, that's perfect. So if I have that at the top, and then I have that at the bottom, yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think it's fine. So let's cut off as much of that top margin as we can because we need it to make an impact. So I'm keeping this because I've got a number on it and sometimes that's what we need. So let's just have a look and see how far down I want this to come. Um, there's no point having loads under the, the belly band, to be honest, it's just a waste. So I'll cut it to there. And then this bottom one, cut to there and that will allow us maximum use of that image. This definitely keep, it's got words on it and this one we want about there. Okay, so let's just cut those down. Let's just get the guillotine out. It's just so much quicker. Check them out. 
so it should be fine. So that's the hips that go in the top like that. And this is the berries. It's a pretty autumny page, this one. And that goes in there like that. Well, that's just fabulous, isn't it? Just fabulous. So let's just ink around the three sides that will be visible. less hairs on my desk since we sadly lost Shady because he used to love getting up when I wasn't here getting up on my desk and lying on my cutting mat I've no idea why but he did um, but now sadly he's no longer with us so let's put some glue on there and slide that in hopefully it should be relatively easy See margins perfect like that. Same with this one. So you know you've got the idea that you've used a whole page behind there, but you haven't. the other one and let's just make sure it's where we want it a bit further that way yeah lovely so I'm just going to go around and press that down with the semi tail back your day will come and there we are there we have it um, with my little bone folder which is actually more of a scoring tool I'm just going to go under there and just make sure that's pressed down as I can't get in obviously with my finger so that's that there we go how easy was that i told you it was easy peasy okay so thanks for joining me join me again soon when we will be moving on to page five i believe motoring through this thanks for joining me as always behave yourselves see you soon bye